Hello to you, this is James at MyPE exam. Thanks for joining me. We've previously, in our very last lesson or last tutorial, we've looked at the effect of spin on an object on a ball traveling through the air. And we looked at the concept of the Magnus force. Now, if you haven't studied that already, I would strongly recommend you go and do that now before we cover what we're going to do in this tutorial, which is now to look at the effect of a spinning ball on the bounce of that ball. So, what I've got over here is I've got a table tennis ball. I'm sure you all recognize that, a TT ball. And what I'm going to assume first of all is that this ball is going to travel over the net onto this rather cool looking table tennis table and it's going to bounce somewhere here. Okay. Now then, if it bounces with no spin, so this red line, just to clarify, this red line is with no spin, which is actually very hard to achieve in table tennis for anyone who's played it you will know this what we'd find is that the ball will leave the table at an equivalent angle so it's going to leave the table at some angle like that okay so I hope you can see that we've got the same angle coming off the table as we've got going into the table now then what happens if a performer produces some kind of back spinning shot backspin okay so if the if the player applies backspin which of course in this case when the ball is traveling in this direction of movement you know this is the direction of movement of course that means that the ball will be traveling backwards over itself in in that rotational uh, motion which of course we would count as anti-clockwise anti